Hey everybody. Oops, that way. Nope. Okay, really that way. That's George. I am going to lend tone to my post because I don't want it to be misunderstood. I think it's being taken as more hostile and freaked out than I really am. The only reason for posting it is because I feel like I'm being misunderstood lately and then of course of course they get misunderstood as the freak out girl so <laughs> allow me to read the post with the inflection that I intend so that you understand because I feel like I need to be understood today and I just don't feel like I am so I'm reading the post so I can't see you while I'm reading the post so bear with me. And if you hear the noise upstairs, it's the landlord's kids. They're crying. That's what they do. It's quarter after six. It's what they do at quarter after six. So anyway, the post that I wrote today, and I started it out, okay, seriously, this is my blog and I need to use it, damn it. I just feel like sometimes I have to censor myself, so that's why I started it that way. Okay, and now I'm just going to read. I feel like I'm being tested with a lot of very large tasks, making decisions about certain ones of those very large tasks, sitting back and not making decisions yet about the others of those very large tasks. I feel like I'm handling this well, but I'm getting the impression that others see things differently. I can handle things, oh sorry, I can only handle things the way I handle them. This is me, this is who I am. That's true. And if I could list out all that I'm dealing with, then people might see why I'm choosing to deal with things the way that I am. Except I can't list them all out. Some of them, let me interject, some of them are just, um, they're just works in progress, or they're too personal, and they will never be mentioned out loud to anyone. Except I did show Break Boy this list because I felt like I needed to show the list to someone to feel like I'm not just being overreactive about the things that I have on my plate. Um, so here's the list of the things that I wrote down. Studying for my certification. I'm so close. I have 150 pages left to go. And then I need to index the pages. And um, then I need to schedule the exam. It's a proctored exam that I take locally. And I have to go to a testing facility, but I just have to schedule it. And I just need to do that. And then after I take my certification exam, mm, no, before that's done, I have to go prep. Uh, things at the house. I just need to throw out things that I haven't thrown out yet. I went there this weekend and did that a little bit, but there's more. And I just need to make sure all of my stuff is in one location so that I can schedule movers to just go move that stuff to a storage facility because the house is going to sell. Um, and I currently don't live in a place where I can even get that stuff in the door. So I either need to sell it or... Um, get a different place to live so I can have that furniture here. I have no idea how, but when I got here, there was a really big couch in here, so I could have paid $250 more, no, $200 more a month to have it furnished. No. <laughs> I have my own furniture, and I know it's minimal in here, but it works for me, so. And I have a bunch of furniture, so I didn't see the point of paying $200 to sit on somebody else's furniture. So I didn't do that. But somehow, there was a couch in here. I don't know how, but my couch wouldn't fit in here. So after that project is done, um, I have two really big projects at work. They're projects that come up every year. They're projects that I lead every year. They're very big projects. They have a deadline that is out of my control. I, I have to get it done. Um, you know, thousands and thousands of people count upon my successful completion of these projects, and I'm not over-exaggerating on that. 
I, I have to get those projects done or I have to lead my team to the completion of those projects. And I do take on too much in those projects. It's just what I do, you know. Um, if other people won't step up to the plate and get shit done, then you do that. Well, I learned year one that I was doing this project, um, both projects, that I'm the one who has to step up to the plate a lot of times. And I've gotten better at just, you know, making it happen by scheduling people's meetings for them. That worked out really well, actually, this year. Uh, so maybe I can um, loosen the reins a little bit on that, but I still have to make sure that the deadlines are met. I don't, there's not a choice on that. It has to be done. And then signing the contract to sell the house. That's June 18th. That's a hard date. I mean, like a solid date, not a, not a floater date. It's, it's June 18th. Um, and that needs to happen because my ex is signing on a new place that day. So we have to go sign on that house so that he can go sign on his new place. Um, I, there can't be a reason for me to postpone that. I, I would not feel right about that. So that needs to happen when it happens. Um, the unmentionables are on this red list. Um, if I turn just that much, see there's nine items. I don't know if you can see because I'm not looking at myself talk to you right now. But there are nine items, or sorry, ten items, shiny, <laughs> zero through nine. Um, and they are in random order. And I'm not going to tell you what any of them are, because I can't. <laughs> but they're really big deals to me. They're, they're really big. And I mean, I'm proud about most of the things on this list. Some of the things are just things that I need to help get through. And a lot of them are things that I need to help myself get through. And I know that people are offering to help me out on them, but a lot of them are just, you know, I have to get it done. I know that. I'm calm. I'm cool. <laughs> I just, you know, have random moments where I'm like, oh my god, how am I ever going to get this done? And you know, then five minutes later, I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine. See? Mm -hmm. And then after the 10 unmentionables, which none of them are dirty, mama, none of them are dirty, then there's, you know, taking care of myself, making sure that I am eating and sleeping and getting a little um, rest and relaxation time in. And trust me, I am, because I watched Kitchen Confidential and LA Inc. all weekend while I was studying. <laughs> so really, I am. And I'm still reading your blogs, even if I'm not commenting. So, yeah, that's that. And so while I'm doing all that, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm also taking care of the people that I love. I just, I'm trying to be supportive to everybody who is always there for me because you all have things you're going through too. And I need to remember that no matter how many things that I have going on and how big they seem to me, who I am is I always have time for you and for what's going on with you. I need to. That helps me to relax, to help you with what you're going through. So please keep um, needing me because I like to be there for you. And so that was my handwritten note where I said I have handwritten notes about the zero through nines and I'm not making up that I have 10 items. So you saw that I have 10 items on there. And this whole big paragraph about, I, I am, I'm, I'm used to handling major changes and a lot of them at the same time. And this is just another time where I have to handle some major changes and some of them are just new to me and, you know, bear with me about you know, sometimes I freak out when I find out about something new that I have to handle. I haven't had gone through the process yet, so I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll get through it. Just, you know, don't be surprised when I don't quite know how to handle it right away. Okay, thanks.